Hi everyone. Uh, my name is Fin Haoyuan. I'm a PhD candidate from Rice University, and this is the work I did under the supervision of my advisor, Dr. Chris German. And today I will talk about how to abridge source code. So our first, I'll go start with our motivation. And so nowadays, if you use Google to search anything, and you put like, for example, if you search binary search, and if you carefully look through the result returned by Google, you will figure out that Google summarize the page, uh, gener generate the uh, English description of that page for you to guide you to click to the most relevant items uh, you should click. So for example, if I see the, uh, if, I, if we check the result uh, from uh, gig for gigs it just uh, uses a sentence to summarize what binary search is. And what about search for source code in those popular open source Oh, uh, I guess it will behave strange if we put it for I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, so sorry for that. Uh, anyway, if we search for the source code uh, in any open source, uh, uh, open source source code management uh, website, for example, GitHub, uh, the results are mainly based on simple text match. So uh, what we're trying to do in this project is that we try to remove statements from the original source code and so that we can display the source code in a very limited space, but does not compromise the ability of a programmer to understand that piece of code. And notice that this can be an integral part of any source code uh, search engine. So here is a motivating example. So this is the merge function in the classic merge sort algorithm. Basically, you just get an array with two parties sorted, split it by a middle index. Uh, the basic procedure to uh, you want to generate a, a, a single sorted array is that you, ha you declare two index, and then uh, you determine which index to move uh, one step forward according to the uh, related values. Uh, so the, in this implementation, uh, the main logic is nested inside this while loop. So here's the outcome of our uh, uh, automatical source code of reader. Uh, that is uh, basically the, uh, the main code nested in that while loop is returned while other uh, trivial initialization of the variables are removed. So I'll briefly introduce our contribution, which is we give this automatical uh, source code of reader method uh, uh, formalization, and then we, we, we will talk about how we use supervised machine learning to determine the parameters for that formalization, and we also conduct a comprehensive user study to uh, illustrate the utility of our tools. So I will then talk about the methodology in our approach. So basically, we just apply a supervised learning approach for this problem. Uh, in a uh, very high level, we just ask engineering to, uh, to manually truncate a diverse set of programs. Uh, we treat such set as the training set. Then we let the auto abridger mimic engineer's behavior. So, so uh, as I mentioned, uh, we just uh, formalize this problem as a constraint optimization problem. Then we use the uh, supervised learning to turn that. So here is a, a system overview of our framework. Uh, basically, we got the training set. Uh, each sample in that training set com uh, includes a pair of code. One is the original source code, and the other one is the manual truncated code. Uh, our basic procedure is that, uh, so currently you can just view the auto abridger as a black box, which parameterized on, uh, on a feature vector omega. So uh, we put the original code to this black box, the black box is going to generate an automatically truncated code. Then we, use, then we use a kind of distance measurement to compare the automatically truncated code and the human truncated code. Uh, this difference can be viewed as a loose function. Then we use this loose function to tone that parameters. So we call this procedure, uh, we call this procedure an optimization within optimization procedure. So these are the details about our learning procedure. So actually, in last graph, uh, the missing part is 
how we evaluate the distance between those two truncated programs. Uh, so uh, we use the decor distance in our implementation. Uh, it's a very popular uh, measurement to measure the difference between two sets. And uh, in our, uh, so the overall um, loose function is defined, is defined as the average decor distance over all the samples in our training set. Uh, to prevent the overfit, we also add the L2 regularization terms. And notice that since the, since the uh, auto abridger, as I suggest in the graph, that's the black box, uh, itself is an optimization procedure, which I will talk in the next slides. So there's no explicit expression for the, so that we can use the standard gradient descent, uh, uh, gradient descent method to tune this parameter. Uh, instead, we can use the, we can use a local search algorithm to explore this parameter configuration space. Uh, in our impl implementation, we use Paramize to uh, accomplish such task. Okay, now I will talk about the black box I mentioned before. The black box is how we automatically abridge the source code. So uh, currently we focus on our work on abridging Java method. So given a piece of Java code, uh, that's uh, the Java method, the body of the Java method, uh, we view it as a graph. So each statement in that graph uh, is, a, uh, is, is a node. Uh, each statement in the Java method is a node in that graph, uh, while the edges in that graph uh, just uh, represents the dependency between different statements. So here we can uh, we can just assume each statement includes a feature vector xi, and we got a magic feature with omega, so that the inner product of this feature vector and this weight matters how informative each statement is. Then we can formalize our uh, source code abridgment problem as choosing a subset of statements in the original uh, node set of that graph to maximize the sum of this inner product subjected to a set of constraints. The constraints can be anything like the uh, nested in the static program analyze, so, for example, and control dependency between two statements. And uh, the more details about those constraints can be seen in our paper. But uh, I would like to make a note here is that, uh, so uh, such a constraint optimization can be easily solved by any uh, binary integer uh, solver in uh, real time, so which makes it possible to uh, use our tool for any uh, uh, in-time tasks. Okay, so the missing, still there's one missing part in our approach, that's the, uh, that's the feature, what should we, should we uh, include as a feature, uh, as the feature for each statement. Uh, so here, uh, we, we, we use a standard, uh, standard machine learning approach for this question. So that is given the, uh, given the model and the training method we defined previously, uh, we, we just uh, provide a feature set, and we tr just uh, try different feature set, and then we use the average decor distance uh, to approximate the quality about our abrasion. Then we do the standard cross validation procedure for this during our development. And finally, we select uh, such features. And this feature uh, includes the analyze from the static program analyze. Also, we include some features from text mining of the source code. So lastly, I will talk about how we evaluate our, our tour. So the fundamental question we ask ourselves during this development is, does our tool actually helps the programmer uh, to understand the code better and more quickly? So to, in the scenario of source code search. So to answer such question, we ask 23 participants in our department uh, to conduct this user study. And most of, uh, all of them are uh, PhD candidate and postdoc research scientists. So the source code, uh, so to make sure our, uh, the, uh, the user study uh, has the same setup as, uh, uh, as the, has the same, includes the same program as you may say in a real world task, uh, we just uh, collect, the source, uh, collect the source code from uh, the Maven uh, Java open source repository. And uh, so we also, uh, provide a naive uh, abridgment method. Uh, this is, this, we use this to, as a control group. 
Uh, so basically, it builds on top of uh, on top of our integer program formalization, but it weighs each statement evenly. So uh, in 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 uh, uh, in another word, it does not apply the knowledge uh, we uh, we achieve during our learning procedure. So we just uh, deployed this user study on a website. Uh, so this is the welcome uh, page for our user study. Uh, the so the user, the participant will know that they will conduct two uh, objective, object uh, to finish two uh, objective tasks, and finally provide some subjective feedbacks for our tools. So, in the first task, uh, the user is provide a natural language description of uh, of a Java method, and also provides uh, it also we also provide. Uh, Five candidate programs as the option, so that the, user, the participant uh, are asked to choose the program that uh, match the description best. And uh, in, so, in, in, uh, to to design these questions, uh, we just uh, we just uh, uh, accumulate the similar programs by a search in the repository, so that all of the uh, programs in the, for a single question are are highly relevant. And uh, in this task, we provide the user six questions, and uh, two of them are the original source code. Uh, two of them are abridged by the naive approach, and two of them, two of them are abridged by our proposed method. Uh, so uh, people will aware if the source code is abridged or not. But if the source code is abridged, uh, user will not be aware uh, of uh, whether it's abridged by our method or the straw man approach. So in the second task, uh, we provide two English descriptions with two Java methods. Uh, the participants are asked to match the English description with the uh, with the Java method. So all the other setup are the same. Uh, to provide a concrete ex uh, expression about uh, uh, the results generated by our auto abridger and uh, and how the users, uh, what kind of uh, source code the user will say in our user study. Here's an example. Uh, basically, it's a Java method tries to uh, handle the uh, HTML, it tries to submit an HTML form. Uh, basically, it just uh, uh, check the, it checks the, uh, the, the, ob the HTML object type, and according to that type, it checks different fields and uh, do different operations. So this is the original code, and this is the abridged code generated by the. Uh, this is abridged code generated by the strawman approach, which basically throws away some statements, as I suggest uh, in the previous slides. So uh, here is the outcome. Basically, you can see that uh, the strawman just uh, in that three branch it throws two branch away. And it's also kept some trivial statements such as throw an exception, which is uh, not that important for a programmer to understand the high-level idea about uh, about that about the source code. Uh, so this is the source code generated by our approach. Uh, so you can see the all the three branches are kept uh, so that the programmer can have a high-level understanding about this uh, this Java method. And additionally, the all the trivial statements about uh, exception handling are thrown away. So uh, this is, uh, I have some highlights uh, results. Uh, so the detailed tables are in our paper. So basically I want to say uh, our approach uh, has better, uh, provides better accuracy uh, for the, uh, compared to the original uh, code and the uh, abridgment generated by the straw man. And people just need uh, less time to view the source code uh, generated by our uh, source code abridgment method. And uh, additionally, we also conduct the static analyze of our uh, experiments. And so the, uh, we, set, we use the bootstrap method to compute p-value, uh, which suggests that uh, there's uh, our experiment results have some uh, static uh, significance. And uh, finally, we also ask the users to provide some subjective evaluation of our tool. Uh, it turns out that our tool is preferred by uh, most of the participants. And finally, I will draw the conclusion. So, 
uh, basically, uh, we proposed a method that can automatically abridge a piece of Java method, and uh, we use uh, the supervised learning approach to tone the uh, parameters in this formalization. And we also conduct a comprehensive user study to show the utility of our tool. And there's some future work I uh, we would like to try in the near future. So first of all, uh, currently we only focus on the task of source code search. Uh, we only uh, the user study is designed to simulate the scenario of source code search. Uh, but we think that uh, our tool can be extended to other scenarios, such as so if a programmer are asked to learn a, a new code base, uh, probably our tools can also uh, improve that uh, efficiency. And additionally, uh, there's, some, uh, there's some features we would like to add to our tool. Uh, for example, currently we have to let the user or the, or the program that use our tool to hard code the, uh, the portion for the source code abridgment. Uh, probably in the near future, uh, we want to we want our tool to automatically determine that. And finally, uh, so we can definitely try additional features and probably try different formalization of the problem to see if, uh, if the tool will be better. Uh, uh, that's it. Thank you.